Welcome to this episode of Toys Bags In. Today we're going to take a look at the 6 inch classifieds figure, Breaker, with his Ram motorcycle. So if you're familiar with the vintage breaker and Ram motorcycle, the Ram motorcycle came in two parts instead of three. So we'll be exploring that here in a minute. Let's take a look at the back. You can see here a nice picture of Cobra Island. The side, and you can see that he's number 29 in the series and some fantastic artwork there on the other side. So I'm gonna open this up and we'll take a closer look at this toy. I do really like this cardboard insert of the package. Uh, it's got a lot of really nice artwork of the logo for Cobra Island, but also of the fort that is on Cobra Island. I think I'm going to be using this as a backdrop display for my figures on my shelf. I think it'll look really nice. I do really like the look of this motorcycle. It rolls really well. I think it's fantastic. The wheel does turn in the front. Just enough, I feel. And the and the wheels are a soft plastic. I don't think they're rubber, but I, th I think they're just like a soft plastic. And it does have foot pegs for the figure on both sides where you can put his foot. That's a nice feature. I like the tampos on the side. And I do like the front light has been colored. That's nice. There is a gun that if you're familiar with the original version for the three and three quarter inch, that was molded in to the sidecar. And this is actually, you can actually take that out and use it as a Gatling gun for the figure. So you can see here, you can take the two halves of the sidecar and put the gun inside. and you just snap it together. There's a look that we are used to from the original Ram. You see those two little pegs fit into the two little holes on the right side of the bike, and then it stands up, that's nice. It also has a kickstand too. Okay, let's take a look at the figure, Alvin Kibbe, codename Breaker. This figure stands six inches tall. This is the classified series. He's got a double jointed knee. His boot moves side to side. And he's got an ankle tilt. He has some upper thigh movement. His vest is also a rubbery plastic. It is a separate piece. It's not molded onto his body. But 
to get this off, I think you'd have to pull his head and his arms off. And uh, I'm not going to do that today because uh, I just got this figure and I don't want to break his limbs. So I'm going to keep his vest on him anyway. But it would have been nice to be able to take this off and look to see what was underneath. I really like his face sculpt. It looks a lot like the cartoon version of Breaker. If you compare him to the vintage three and three quarter inch figure, it doesn't quite look the same. And uh, that figure was actually the same mold for rock and roll too. And then we've got his helmet. The helmet has uh, a visor, which is a, a nice addition to the figure where the original uh, three and three quarter inch figure did not have a visor, but it did have the communication earpiece and microphone, but it also had a cable that went from the headphones to a backpack. And uh, this figure does not have a backpack. Uh, that's unfortunate. They could have put a backpack on this. I think it would have looked awesome. Although not having the cable just modernizes the technology of this figure up to today's standards. There's a hole in his back for a backpack if he had come with one. I do like this figure though. I think he looks really good. I think the colors of the motorcycle and his uniform are on par with the original version of this figure. Just all updated to a uh, modern scale. Let's get him on the motorcycle and see if he fits on there. I'm going to try to get his feet pegged in to those pegs on the bottom there. Okay, that was a little harder than it needed to be, but I finally got him pegged in there. The vintage ram did not have handlebars, and this one does, so that's a nice addition. Got both of his hands on the bars, and he is sitting in the seat. Pretty cool. This is a fun toy. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I don't have a lot of six inch figures from the classified line, but I did pick up, I think I've got seven or eight uh, seven or eight figures now along with the Ram cycle and uh, I also got the motorcycle with the Baroness so that's kind of cool now I've got a, a pair of motorcycles this is a fun vehicle to have in your collection I highly recommend this and the figure I really like the looks of them and uh, I think this is really fun Thanks for watching. I'm Toys Bag Zen. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell if you want to see more videos like this. I have lots of reviews, lots of toy repairs and restorations, and I do a lot of haul videos too. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what you think of this figure and vehicle pack and whether it's, you think it's something that you're going to start collecting or even if you have it already, tell me your thoughts on it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram, and if you want to email me directly, go to my email right here at toysbagzen at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. See ya.